a, uh, this video is an introduction to vibration analysis and we've already set up to set up the axis direction if it is radial or axial or horizontal okay so before we start please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and please email my email address okay in case you have any question so let's start okay so we have the vibration is a backward and forward movement and cyclical movement as in here uh, it's usually to study the imperfection okay um, why do you measure condition as a condition of a machine in order to avoid catastrophic failure in order to make any changes to the machine condition before any problem happens so what transducer or sensor we use we have three types elliptical vertical and horizontal we could see the elliptical here we have the three types as we said what vibration characteristic do we measure so we have the amplitude is how much movement we have the frequency how often the movement is per second and the phase and what direction the movement is okay and the phase and what direction the movement is so let's start if we jump several slide let's start with the amplitude here, how much movement is occurring the first to measure is this point you could see here the bearing as we have the shaft how the bearing is moving upward upward and downward upward and downward positive negative positive negative or it is uh, excuse me it's not positive negative but it's like sinusoidal is moving upward downward up downward as you could see here is moving upward downward upward downward between those two limits okay so we, if we move one we could see here is movement it goes it's like so it goes up and down up and down and up and down between the rest which is like at zero okay so it goes up and down and it's periodic and it is okay so since displacement it measure amount of components being bent backward and forward it is a measure of the stress imposed on the structure itself okay the measure of stress and the structure itself uh, in order to understand the second amplitude unit we must first that the bearing is going to move backward and forward certain distance okay in a certain amount of time it's going to achieve a certain uh, maximum speed velocity during the cycle okay so uh, we're gonna study the velocity versus the displaced okay versus the displacement we have so the velocity uh, the, when the bearing is at the maximum position plus x okay um, the velocity must be zero at this moment since the bearing must stop momentarily to change to reverse direction okay from this moment until the bearing passes at rest so when the bearing is at plus so the it must stop to reverse direction okay so and it must stop to reverse direction must speed in order to uh, in order to return the bearing to its original to its at rest position so when the displacement amplitude is zero the velocity is a plus peak since the bearing has the maximum speed from this moment until the bearing reaches the plus x position the bearing will be slowing down so we have kind of what we've seen here it goes like up with velocity and it's maximum the point and it's maximum the opposite, opposite direction at this point and it's zero here okay so when it is bearing it's at x position the velocity is what at zero and when it is at minus x the velocity is at zero as well okay so we have the velocity is moving upward in order to reach the maximum and it goes to zeros here as we've seen uh, with the velocity we're only concerned with the velocity we're only concerned about with the amplitude displacement we're only concerned about the stress now with the velocity we're only concerned with the maximum speed velocity region to trip it matter not what direction the bearing is moving 
Therefore, it measures how often the stress displacement is being applied, the likelihood of the fatigue related to our system. Okay. The third characteristic is the acceleration. There are two types of acceleration, pushing and striking. Pushing causes sinusoidal motions, the velocity change steadily create a sine wave, the acceleration also change steadily plotting and generate, while striking is it's like a hammer, you strike, you put a stress, and then you remove your hand, it becomes like harmonic, and then it disappears in the system. Okay. Now, we must establish one fact. Uh, we must establish one fact, like, if velocity goes from zero to a certain amount versus second, 1,000 times a minute requires a lot less force than you get 100,000 times a minute. So what's meant by this? If the velocity is changing from like zero to a certain amount, 25 millimeter per second, and we're doing this like 1,000 times a minute, it's much different if we're doing it 100,000 times a minute. Okay, so. Uh, velocity, as we've seen, the displacement, when the displacement is at plus x, okay, the velocity is equal to zero, at the stop moment to reverse direction, okay, uh, and for this distance, like plus x, the velocity will start increasing till it is maximum here, and then it will be decreasing till it becomes zero here, okay. Uh, what's meant by this, like the, the bearing house will be pushing really hard, increase the velocity, so to return it to its place because of vibration it's like going upward, downward, upward, downward. Okay, why the acceleration is increasing acceleration? Uh, acceleration is increasing from this from the rest position to here. It is increasing to a peak value. Remember as the space increasing in the minus direction, it is increasing pushing back towards the at rest position. Because the bearing is pushing towards the minus direction, it has to push back towards the at rest position. The same applies upward. If it goes, uh, if it is at rest and the bearing is pushing towards x, the house it has to push back in the opposite direction to mo to return it to the at rest position. Okay. This is about the amplitude. We have the three characteristics, which is displacement and the velocity and the acceleration. So very very briefly. Acceleration is related to the force uh, applied for being the mode of failure. So we have three modes of failure, the stress, uh, the fatigue related to the velocity and the uh, applied force.